the thing that really made me come out was my deterioration in my own health, really. Um, I was becoming extremely depressed. Um, I'd had thoughts of ending my own life, which was particularly terrifying as, you know, I have two young children, um, but it just felt like I had nowhere else to go, really, at that time. So I knew that, you know, something had to change, and the thing that had to change was that I had to be who I really am. When I decided to come out, um, the process of coming out for me was, was quite difficult. Um, I initially, I was in counselling and had support from my, my counsellor, but I was very lucky to be in a relationship with, with my wife, who was again, very, very supportive. So she, she was the first person that I was able to tell and was able to be, su be supported by really. And I was very fortunate that she supported me to come out and um, you know, supported me during that process, really. Once I'd come out properly to my wife, although she'd known about my sexuality for many, many years, um, I, we, we kind of decided to talk to the children over a period of a couple of months, and we talked to them about difference and about how different people are and how different animals are and how different trees are and and you know that, that you never meet one person or one animal or one plant that, that's the same. Um, we also talked about characters on the, the television that they were familiar with so for example Sean in Coronation Street um, and we talked to them in that couple of months period about about those people um, and then one, one evening I sat with the two children um, on their bed and just just talk to them about how different I was and what that would mean. And they, they, they just accepted that, that, that it was, actually it was fine, it, it, it wasn't a problem to them, it wasn't a concern to them. The only concern my youngest daughter had was if I had a boyfriend or a partner in the future, what would she call him? Um, so that, that, was, that was the question that came back. I came out to my parents. Um, it was the most difficult person to come out to was my, my dad, really, because over the years, both my parents had been homophobic and, you know, kind of shared their, their views and opinions as I was growing up. Um, and I can remember my dad once commenting there was a programme on TV and I can remember him commenting that, you know, all gay people were like animals and they should be shot. So coming out to dad was really difficult and the, the, the day that I came out to him, he cried and I said, look, I'm sorry, I know that this has completely ruined your life. And he said, you don't know why I'm crying. I'm crying because actually it doesn't stop me from loving you and I, I really regret you not being able to tell me before, you know. Being a gay man has really um, impacted upon my life. More recently, in the last five years actually, um, since I've come out, um, people have said I've completely changed as a person. I've become more confident. I've, I've become more able to be myself. Uh, I've been more relaxed. Um, and, and basically just get on with life um, in a way that I've never experienced before. I just feel completely free to be who I am. Um, and that, that, that's given me great confidence, really. For me, um, I came out when I was 36, and um, I was quite naive in terms of how I was going to meet somebody. I had quite a romanticised view of how I was going to get into a relationship and how that was going to be. So for me personally, um, I signed up to what I thought was a dating website that, that, that actually seemed to be something completely different to that. You know, People were just interested in meeting up for one-off meetings. Um, they, they weren't really interested in relationships. However, um, I did meet my partner through that website and 
and it, it, it was quite interesting that he he had the same view of of, of me as me, and um, you know that that we actually met up and went on a proper date and you know and and it was as romantic as I believe that it, it it you know it should have been really, but I think there are issues for for people within the community around safety, safety of meeting people that they may chat to online. Um, you know, and kind of because often people are in the closet and they're not talking openly about their sexuality, they've got no one that they can tell that they're going off to meet somebody. So they're often in a very vulnerable situation where their safety really isn't taken care of. I remember HIV when when the adverts were out on the telly back in the probably the early 80s. Um, I was a young young kind of teenager in in those years, and I remember particularly my dad saying, "You know, this is a gay plague. This is a gay disease. All gay people are going to get HIV. You know, other people don't get it." And you know, because I I knew that I knew really that I was gay. Um, it, it concerned me um, in the day, in the 80s, and I just thought, you know, is that what I would become? Is, you know, and, and it, was, it, was a, it was a death sentence. So I very much kind of internalised that view that, OK, so if I am going to live as a gay man, then I have a death sentence. So it, was, it, was, it added to the pressure that I was under um, and reinforced my, my need to be in the closet.